All right, good morning, folks. Saturday morning, early. Sun is just peeking in. Uh, well, it's not too early. I guess it's like seven. Anyway, got my cup of coffee. And we're going to get started on the truck. Got a couple things in. Last night, I guess they were sitting in the mailbox. Um, I guess I could have got a little bit more stuff done yesterday. So hold on. So I got all of these two inch, um, two and a half inch uh, T-bolts for, um, for the radiator hose. And I guess, so today we're going to, I think I'm going to start with um, the seat belts. Haven't done those before. Uh, normally I'm putting Simpson racing harnesses in and we're not doing that with this truck that this one comes with like the normal retractable three-point seat belt so I haven't done that yet before in this truck or in I think yeah I'm not sure any of my other vehicles had three points other than the GTM and those have those are kind of interesting to put together by themselves so we're going to try this. This this looks like it's got a roll bar clamp that Factory 5 supplies. And then that adapts the retractable um, seat belt. So I'll get that started, mocked up. I'm going to do the passenger side first since that carpet is basically ready to be glued all the way down, seat installed. And then we'll move on to the drivers. And then I'll start moving back into the engine compartment finish up the install on the um, radiator, get the tune in, uh, I've got to connect the fan, and uh, maybe we'll see, we'll see what happens by noon. All right, see you in a bit. All right, folks, uh, midday uh, wrap-up or status update. So let me turn this around real quick. This will be quick because I've got a few more things to do trying to get this thing started again with the new tune, but here we go. So we got both both the seats in with the belts. And this was kind of an interesting arrangement where I was using, I'm using the three point with the uh, the Kirkies and getting the lap deal to, to function. That was, uh, took a little modification, but it, it's in. Um, so that all looks good. I think that'll be fine. I mean, haven't really got in to see how it feels yet. Um, I have reconfigured a little bit on the radiator assembly or the hoses, and and I got my T bolts all all T, -T bolt clamps all in, so that looks fine. Uh, that's all done top and bottom, and I actually have water in the car. So uh, the next next stop is to drop the tune in uh, and now I can and I've got the belt installed uh, so it's it's in so now we can check charging and see how the see how the water temp and and burp the system um, I need to get the fan hooked up to see if I can control that with the ECU so other than that uh, yep we're closing in on it let me get there you go. Now you can see me. Um, yeah, we're closing in on it. Uh, I think the actual drive might happen later this afternoon, or I'll just uh, do a good cleanup and walk around, and then we'll just do it tomorrow. But I'm pretty much in the wrapping up phase uh, of the chassis right now. Um, so, yeah, let me get back to work, and uh, we'll get back to it. See you in a bit. All right, folks. Uh, I said I was gonna wait till tomorrow. Sun's going down. It's cool out, but there it is. Drove it outside on its own power. Everything seems okay. Fans kicking on. Well, that's good. Not gonna get too much temp in it today. 
Uh, just want to say that I've driven it, so stand by, we'll go drive it. We're going to drive it just down to the end of the street there, back, like I normally do. But, uh, yeah, it's not loud at all. It's kind of got a motorcycle tuned sound to it. It's interesting. So we'll stand by. Final video basically for the, the chassis, uh, rolling chassis to be done. Uh, tomorrow's just going to be cleaning up the garage. I think we're at day 34, go-kart complete, systems check complete. Engine's going through its third warm-up cycle right now. You can kind of hear the fan running in the background. Um, yeah, pretty happy all the way around. Uh, I'll go ahead and we'll take a quick walk around while it's in the garage. It's going to get a little loud. Uh, didn't really hammer it too hard on the maiden voyage. Had a little issue with the left rear caliper was knocking a bit on the uh, just touching, kissing the, um, the disc uh, every now and again. So put a couple more shims on that side. Um, there's like some little nubs that uh, stick out um, beyond the the brake uh, pad and I'm, I, I guess those are to let you know you're getting low or I'm not sure why they're there but uh, I'm sure there's a technical reason for them to be there um, so mark the, uh, the disc just a little bit kissed it you could see it as it was just touching um, but ultimately uh, went through all the gears uh, like I said didn't hammer on it so let me flip it around and the fan's running right now, so that's a good sign. So we got temperature. Bolts are good. Temp's coming up about 190, 196. We've got two miles on it. Yay. Idle's good. Oil pressure's good. We got fuel. So that's all working. No leaks. It's actually amazingly quiet. It's supposed to be loud, I guess. I don't know. It sounds very 
European odds for a Ford motor, but it's okay. And uh, I had to mess around with the, the mill lights. Uh, it was still looking for my intake runners, but since I don't have any, uh, it threw a, threw a code, so we cleared that. And there's no code on it now, so kind of nice. And we'll rev it up one time here. It takes a throttle nice. cut the pedals. I'll probably do that tomorrow. Anyway, that's it. That's a that's a wrap. Where we'll be uh, just piddling with it. I gotta call the. I'll email the painter. Say I'm, my stuff's done. Where are you at? Uh, thanks for uh, enjoying the uh, d the daily um, build. We'll do a recap maybe tomorrow afternoon uh, with the engine not running. Talk about you know the whole process and uh yeah thanks uh thanks a lot folks and uh ho hopefully the painter gets done soon so we'll talk to you in a bit